So we are in Austin, Texas. This is our second time here. And I just really wanted to show you where we've been staying because it's a really magical place. It was built by a gentleman named Thor. It's his house. He's in and out. We see him every now and then, but you gotta see this place. So as you can see, the doorway into the gate is covered in jaw bones, leg bones, antlers, got a bone chime, and there's Goat, which is one of their dogs. Hi, they have a ton of huge cats. Hi, Goat. Goat, hi, how are you? So here, take a look around the yard. We have this awesome boat bike that they actually use to transport stuff. Lots of scary sculptures, but really fun stuff. Oh, here's some vertebrae by vertebrae. Very artistic, Thor. He comes up with some very interesting things. Hello, kitten. Who's this? Well, this is chemical. Hi. <laughs> Some nice leg and butt going hanging on around there. This is one of Belinda's sculptures. It came apart because it actually rained, which was good news, but check her out. Isn't she beautiful with her two torsos? And ice cream hair. I made a dragonfly out of copper wire. It's my first ever time making a wire sculpture. And I made a little dragonfly. Yes, I see you, kitten. Yes, yes. They have farm animals in their stone columns. Basically, there's just a ton of stuff to see, and you could keep looking and looking and looking and looking for days, and you probably wouldn't see everything. But here's a nice view of the house. See the columns of stone? And the house itself is wood. Thor built it. Um, I guess it took him about 10 years to finish. Sorry, the cat is grabbing onto my ankle and it hurts. <laughs> Here's their garden. Lots of yummy things growing. Herbs, lettuces, beets, all sorts of yummy greens. Another stone wall. That must be where Goat exits and enters because Goat is really good at escaping. So we call her the escape goat. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Escape goat? No. I think I'm funny, but I'm not. <laughs> Here's the backyard, which is where Thor does all of his woodworking and Belinda does some of her limestone carving. Here's another garden. This is where the gray water comes out of the house and feeds this little area. There's the lovely compost right at the bottom of the kitchen window. Here's another sculpture of Belinda's. Isn't she beautiful? So here's Thor's wood shop. Got some Tom Waits plan. Here's a beautiful bowl he just finished. He didn't use a lathe or anything, he carved the whole thing out of, I believe it's mesquite. Isn't it gorgeous? He makes everything out of wood. But he's just so good at it. So here, let's go inside.
Oh, the stove is also outside. We cook outside. Welcome. So, there are many strange and curious and beautiful things around this house. A nice uh, gift Thor just got in the mail was this awesome cockadoodle pad where you get to kind of draw in your own goodies on everybody. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Here's another sculpture Belinda's working on. It's absolutely remarkable. It's a woman laying down, but you can see in different portions of her body her bones. Big old chunks have been taken out. Isn't that gorgeous? This is one of our favorite sculptures. <laughs> it's a Jamaican orgy sculpture. Isn't that fantastic? See the spiral staircase right inside the house here? Wooden, of course. That leads up into Belinda's castle. She's the queen of the castle, of course. Nice wood stove. Well, that's actually more of like a heater. And Thor is a musician, so he plays percussion mostly. Beautiful art around this house. I love what he does with the bones because he doesn't just use them outside for decoration. He uses them for very practical things like lights. Check this out in the bathroom. The light fixture is a skull and he put the light bulbs in the eye sockets. How fantastic is that? I would really love for him to build and decorate a home for me. Oh, hello. Everything's pretty magical. This huge door is the medicine cabinet, but it's massive. There's another one of Belinda's limestone sculptures. They don't have a shower, tub only. But it's been nice to soak in a tub with some Mexican chocolate candles. <laughs> Thor says that this house is protected by voodoo and dogs, and I believe it because they never lock the doors. They rarely ever close them, actually. And yet, nothing ever disappears or runs away or gets destroyed unless they decide it, that it needs to. <laughs> This is where we've been staying. Thor's been sweet enough to give up his room for us. But it's by far my most favorite house that we've stayed in on the trip thus far. It's just so interesting and beautiful and magical. And I just feel like I could cover every square inch of this house and still never show you everything. So, that was the tour of the Thor abode. <laughs> Everybody rides bikes here in Austin. It's pretty wonderful. Hammock. All right, my lovelies, well, I miss you, and I'm excited that you got to look around the house of wood, stone, and bone with me. Au revoir.